Okay, this is part 8 of my translation and transformation series. So, in this video we're going to talk about inverse graphs. And what an inverse graph means is a graph that's been reflected about the line y equals x. So, the first thing we're going to do is figure out what the line y equals x looks like on our graph. So, I've graphed it in orange here right there in orange, and how I made that graph is I said y equals x. So if x is negative 1, if I replace x with negative 1 in this equation, now my equation says y equals negative 1. So I wrote that down in my y column. If x equals 0, y equals 0. If x equals positive 1, y equals positive 1. So when you graph that, We've got the point negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, positive 1, positive 1. So that's the line y equals x. So when we're talking about a flip about the line y equals x, or we're talking about inverse graphs, that's what we mean. This line right here, that is diagonal through our graph. And so what I've done is in green, can you see that? Yes. So in green, I've done just our basic parabola, y equals x squared. So if x is negative 1, then replace x with negative 1 up here. You've got negative 1 squared is positive 1. If y equals, sorry, if x equals 0, change that x to a 0. 0 squared is 0, y equals 0. If x is positive 1, we've got in here, replace x with positive 1. Positive 1 squared is positive 1. So I plotted those points in green. We've got negative 1, positive 1 right there, 0, 0, and positive 1, positive 1. And so that's our basic parabola, y equals x squared. So the graph in black, that's the inverse of the graph in green. It's been reflected about the line y equals x. So it's kind of like if you want to think, We've got a piece of paper, and on it we drew the graph of y equals x. If we're going to fold our paper about this line, then if this was wet, it would leave that image on the other side of our paper. So how do you solve that with an xy chart? You've probably realized by now that I think an xy chart is the easiest way to make sure you don't make a mistake when you're graphing. So. First of all, before we get into our graph, I should tell you what the equation looks like. So we started out with y equals f of x. The inverse of that, we're going to replace y with x and x with y. So now we've got f of y equals x, or x equals f of y. You can also write that as y equals f to the negative 1 of x. That's the notation we use when we mean inverse. So, I originally had y equals x squared. That's the parabola that I drew in green. So, now I'm going to replace my y with x and my x with y. Now I've got x equals y squared. So, when we're graphing, we like stuff to say, you know, y equals mx plus b, or whatever, in the case of a line. We want to say y equals something. So, how do I solve this equation for y? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is take the square root of it. And then I've got the square root of x equals y. So, the square root of x. That is only going to work for us if x is a positive number. So, we're going to add that as a condition x must be greater than 0, because you can't take the square root of negative numbers. If you wanted to, you could make it a graph, you know, and this, the square root of negative numbers, those are complex numbers, right? Your imaginary numbers, but we won't get into that in this video. And so, we've got the square root of x equals y. We want to graph that. So, if x was, we can't use negative 1, but we can use 0. Let's use, I don't know, positive 1. Okay, yeah. So the square root of x is 0. 
and y would be 0. The square root of 1 is 1. So let's go back to our chart, and we've got the point 0, 0, and we've got the point 1, 1. What about this point? That point is at 1, negative 1. The x is at 1, the y is negative 1. So how does that fit in with our graph? We had y equals, no, we had x equals y squared. Well, isn't negative 1 squared also equal to 1? Yes. So you have to be careful when you're graphing inverses with square roots and stuff that you don't miss you know, half the solutions. When x is 1, sorry, that should just say x. When x is 1, we've got two solutions for y, positive 1 and negative 1, because both we had x equals y squared, both positive 1 and negative 1 squared are equal to 1. There's two solutions. So, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can ask them on my website, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.